Now that we possess a device compatible with CMV 4.0 and Dolby Vision Profile 7, complete with full enhancement layer capabilities, and considering that the majority of films are crafted within a CMV 4.0 workflow but are ultimately delivered in CMV 2.9 for Blu-ray disc releases, we're still not getting the best quality possible. Given that streaming services offer the original CMV 4.0 content, it seems advantageous to devise a method to transfer it to Blu-ray discs, thereby enjoying the best of both worlds. So in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to accomplish this using the Dovi scripts. Let's delve into the steps required. Step 1. Extract and plot the levels 1 and 2 of both sources to make sure they are the same. As you can see the frames are not in sync but it is the same metadata. We will sync the metadata later in this video. Now let's find the frame difference between the streaming and Blu-ray disc release. On some occasions, you may be forced to do this step manually but in most cases, the auto mode should work. There is a 24 frames difference. Now let's figure out if we have to remove or duplicate frames, and at the same time, you must double check to confirm with the extracted pictures, that it is really a 24 frame difference. Find two identical frames from both sources, and determine if you have to remove or duplicate frame. Now we know and confirm that we have 24 frames to remove from the CMV4.0 web download RPU to be in sync with the original Profile 7 RPU. Remove 24 frames from the CMV4.0 RPU. Never remove frame 0, it's a scene cut frame, a refresh scene flag. Check the frame count of each RPU, they must match. Calculate how many frame you have to remove or duplicate at the end of the RPU. In this case, we have to duplicate 23 frames at the end. Verify if your final RPU frame count matches the original Profile 7 RPU frame count. By default, this workflow doesn't convert CMV to 0.9 to 4.0 so you have to edit the BAT file with Notepad at line 132. Input the original P7 RPU first, and then the CMV 4.0 RPU. The levels you have to transfer are 3, 8, and 9. Make sure your final CMV for 0, .0 Profile 7 RPU transfer worked.
Inject the final profile 7 CMV for 0.0 RPU version 2.0.6. Beta or newer of Dovi scripts is required. Older versions need just inject in video file name in order to keep it profile 7. As you can see, your metadata are now perfectly in sync with the original CMV to 0.9 RPU and the new RPU now have a CMV for 0, 0.0 block. Index the video for accurate frame reading. Check random frames at the beginning and the end. Make sure the frame is the first frame of a new shot. That's it. You can now enjoy CMV for 0, 0.0 and Profile 7 Fell Dolby Vision. You need a device like the Ugu's AEM 6B Plus with the Corelect build because all the Blu-ray players are CMV to .9 devices.